Hi everybody and welcome to part two of my Mother's Day watercolor card series. If you haven't checked out part one, I encourage you to do so. I'll link it in the description of this video and the top right corner if I remember to do so. And if that's not enough for you, I will also link last year's Mother's Day uh, card tutorials because I'm really proud of those as well and I think you would really enjoy them. For today's card, we are following the theme from last week's tutorial in that we are using the same technique for the flowers. I love this technique, it's so easy and the flowers look so delicately beautiful that it's hard not to use this technique whenever I'm painting anything that has to do with flowers. So for this card in particular, we're going to be painting a nice centerpiece that sort of curls around the edges and frames our greeting, which is obviously going to be Happy Mother's Day. So this technique is quite easy. You just take a thin brush that is loaded with whatever uh, color pigment you choose and then you dot three or four dots wherever you want the center of your flower to be. While those dots are still wet, uh, so you have to work a little bit quickly here, you're going to take a thicker round brush that is dipped only in water and you're going to spread out those dots to allow the pigment to spread into the water that is coming off of the brush and it creates this beautiful and delicate flower petal effect. And you can paint on as many of those as you would like. I just went with four um, to nicely balance out uh, all of the sides. And I wanted to fill in my centerpiece a little bit more using a different variety of flowers. So here I'm painting chrysanthemums. Now I did release a video, um, I think a couple of weeks ago, uh, that kind of goes over four different techniques to paint four different um, watercolor flowers. So I will be sure to link that video in the description if you want a more slowed down version and more detailed explanation on how to paint uh, four different types of flowers. Um, but here I'm just using different colors and spacing those flowers out in different areas of my centerpiece just to balance it out and make it look, um, or, or rather add a little bit more variety than just using one type of flower and one type of color. I also went ahead and created or painted on some vines that uh, came from both sides because again I want it to be even and here uh, I'm I'm doing a similar technique to those earlier flowers where I put on a dot of pigment and then spread them out using um, a paintbrush that's just been dipped in water and I really like the delicate look that this gives off so you're welcome to do the same. By the way, as always, I have linked all of the tools and paints and, and materials that I use in the description if you're looking to add any to your collection. Um, it's at no extra cost to you, but it does give me some commission when you use my link. So again, those are just in the description should you want to use them. I flipped my card around here just because I'm right-handed and it was a lot easier to paint on the right side of the piece of paper. So if you're left-handed or you know, you're know you good with using either hand, you can do whatever you choose here, but this was just a little bit easier for me. And I was roughly trying to mirror the sides so that they were the same. It doesn't have to be identical, but just make sure that it's sort of even so that it, it your centerpiece looks like a centerpiece. Finally, I added some dots just to add a little bit more detail using red watercolor. And then I went ahead and I penciled in my greeting. Uh, I always like to pencil in my greetings first because sometimes when I'm doing it really quickly I forget to add a letter and sometimes the spacing is just off so I do encourage you to pencil it in first before you go over it with a black pen or a black fine tip marker. And I of course wrote Happy Mother's Day. I ended up actually writing it in a different font and placing it over top afterwards just because I didn't like how the cursive turned out. Um, again, another reason why you should pencil it in first. And that's about it. 
Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel and I will see you in next week's video.